set to bring you the action from the Pepsi Center. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. In this game, we'll see the Denver Nuggets against the Memphis Grizzlies. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. Nikola Jokic loves to pass. He said an assist makes two people happy instead of just one. So it's as simple as that. And that simplicity and creative joy is part of what makes the big man tick. Jokic said, it helps me having fun out there. It's a different way to approach the game. And that makes him one of a kind in this league, Kevin. Sure is. Thanks, D.A. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Paul Millsap. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. And it's Clark in at the three slot. And for the Nuggets, Rivers out there with Jamal Murray. Then there's Gordon, and it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Porter, and at the three, the small forward. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical, but also pass it, stretch the floor, will likely be the victor. So the Nuggets win the tip. Now here's Murray. Down low, shot clock at six. And that one's good, Jokic. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Morant with it. The pass to Valanciunas. Over Jokic. Denver grabs the miss. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. Well, we know, Greg, that Jokic is such a unique talent at that center position young player already top 10 in career triple doubles how about the most triple doubles ever by a foreign player you think of the great skilled european big man Jokic, arguably the most skilled of them all shooting two Free throw, good. Jokic. A self-described country boy from the town of Sambar, Serbia. Jokic grew up racing horses, no less. Boy, those are some nice factoids, Greg. Well done. From stable boy and jockey, but as he grew, basketball made the most sense. And to this day, he still loves horses and actually still has a few back in Serbia. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Jokic against Morant. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. Bob pass to Gordon, and then Gordon hit the dunk. Nobody does it better than Gordon on the alley-oop. Boom! Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Morant against Murray. Outside for Jackson. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Gordon. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. 
and to look at his percentage from the line you see him at 89 percent that's an indicator of what a consistent stroke he has. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. For Memphis, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Clark outside. Back to Morant. To the middle. Jokic with the steal. And finished off by Porter. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. The Grizzlies off to a slow start. Still without a basket in the game. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That's his first foul. On defense, the Nuggets. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. And here's a look at the power rankings. Now that we've gotten into February, plenty of data to considering to go on. You take a look at the Nets. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think Denver, they win one, they lose one. Uh, if they think they're going in the right direction, then they seem to take a step back. It's been a season of inconsistencies so far. Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. Uh, a system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster and, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. But whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around. And I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. And he knocks down the first one. Uh, the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. No good on the second free throw. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. They're on an 11th to 1 run. And then Gordon with the dunk. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Back to Morant. Good defense by Jokic. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? Murray against Jackson. Murray, the pass to Jokic. That one's no good. That makes him 1 for 2. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Down by 12. The Grizzlies with another miss. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Morant against Murray. Pass to Porter. Jokic with it. Six on the shot clock. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And it's Morant missing. The Nuggets leading by 14. 
pushing it up and finished off by Porter. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Here's Morant. Denver getting their last shot to go. No good from Valanciunas. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Murray against Morant. Here's Gordon. He doesn't hit that one. Nice deed from Valanciunas. Morant surveying the D. Here's Brooks. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Porter. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Porter. He's putting up 13 points a game, seven rebounds, and three assists. Even though his numbers have been more than solid, I think he'll want to step his game up to another level. Yeah, and you know, on paper, those numbers are terrific. Most players would be thrilled with those numbers, but as good as they are, I know this guy expects more of himself. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. That was a different team in the fourth quarter than what we saw in the first three. Don't, don't you think? I mean, they got their act together just in time to pull it out. Most definitely a switch flip for them in the fourth, and they finally started playing up to their ability, and it certainly came at just the right time, not a moment too soon. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at Denver. They're fourth in the conference and looking to make a move the latter part of the season. And, of course, the Grizzlies, two games back. And I think for Denver, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. And they need to stay focused. I mean, they have to ensure they hang on to a high seed. It's imperative for them. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Here's Morant. He had 22 points in the win against Oklahoma City. Here's Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Here's Murray. Jokic on top. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Jokic has got eight. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assist. They're playing as one unit out there. Now, here's Clark playing Oklahoma City. He was nearly unstoppable. Out left to the wing. Valanciun is inside. He's against Jokic. Clock at four. Goes up at the stripe. Brooks misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Murray. He can't get it to go. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Morant outside. Brooks outside. Here's Valanciunas and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Murray, the pass to Gordon. And it's Gordon finishing it off. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. So it's the Grizzlies now. Denver getting their last shot to go. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Martin's checked in for the Nuggets. And Memphis also making a switch. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for John Morant.
Outside, Jones. Passes to Clark. Now Bart, he gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And finished off by Porter. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no-no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. The Grizzlies trail by 18. Pass to Dallin Shunis to the inside. Denver grabs the miss. Gordon's got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, you can't help but think of the dunk contest robbery with Aaron Gordon. He didn't receive max points on some of his dunks that clearly deserved it. Said he's done with the event after the last go. And I can't say I blame him. Here's Jackson. The Nuggets getting the bucket. The pass to Clark. Pass to Brooks. Just five on the clock. From deep. With the clock winding down. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And it's not everybody who needs hops to finish at the rim. Valanciunas just needs to be an arm's length of the bucket to throw it down. Now here's Murray. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. And with the dunk contest in Aaron Gordon, some of the dunks he pulled off Greg were outstanding. I mean, going over Taco Fall was the big one. Uh, the one-handed windmill was impressive as well. Gordon doesn't need a trophy. Everyone knows he's one of the best dunkers we've ever seen. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Passes it to Jackson. Over Gordon. Misses off the left iron. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Gordon. 20 points for him last game against New Orleans. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Here's Jackson. And again, Memphis no good. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. And finished off by Porter. You know, if you get open, you can bet that Jokic is going to find you. His floor awareness is off the charts. And here's Jones. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Brooks outside. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Memphis has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. To the wing on the left. Here's Clark. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Porter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, as a youth player, Porter's talent foul. was undeniable. Two. Unquestionable, really, but he suffered through some injuries. He didn't get a lot of time on the court in college, and he entered the 2018 draft with a lot to prove. The Nuggets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the word is they challenge each other, guys. I mean, each and every Take one of them. Take a break. To improve their Good free shot. throw shooting in the offseason. Held each other accountable in that area. And now you see the results individually and as a whole. And the first one at the line is good. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John ja Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And 
you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. Here's Melton. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Winslow. The Grizzlies with another miss. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. 137 left in the first quarter. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's foul number two for him. Jaron Jackson. He's checked in for Valanciunas. One thirty-six left to play in the first. Jones against Morris. Pass to Dozier. Connects from three-point range. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Winslow. He had ten points in the win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. 103 left in the first quarter. Now here is McGee. Really struggled in the loss against New Orleans. And here's a look at some numbers for John Morant. And, and guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games. Shoot two. And he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. And that one falls for Paul Millsap. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Boy, I love that attack mentality. Get in there and force the officials to make a call. And the Nuggets making a change here. Rivers checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Allen's checked in. And so Paul Millsap nails both of them. And you know what I like about Paul Millsap is his all-around game. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds it, he passes it, defends other people very well. I mean, this guy really doesn't have any chinks in his armor. Now here's Allen. Over Morris. Allen shot is off. Denver's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Morris against Jackson for three Grizzlies with the rebound Melton feeling it out a bit five to shoot sweet little floater how about that wonderful floater he has Showing off an exquisite touch. Rivers gets a wide open look. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Denver Nuggets holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we caught up before the game with Nikola Jokic, who had a few thoughts about how to help his team succeed. Selfless. I mean, you need to took your uh, pride, you took your ego out, just to be part of the team and do whatever you need to do to be the best uh, player in your role. Greg, there are areas of Jokic's game where he probably is the best in the world. I can't think of a center with better floor vision or better passing ability. His positioning, his angles, his ability to use his size to maximize effectiveness, all at an elite level. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance from the Nuggets so far. 
impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Denver, we've got Rivers. JaVale McGee is out there with Paul Milson. Then there's Monte Morris. And it's Dozier in at the small forward position. The free throw drops for Jackson. Gregor, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. it, you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And so here's Memphis. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. And it's Allen with the jam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And so here's Denver following the score by Memphis. Stolen by Jackson. Pass break, Memphis. Winslow wide open, and he fires, drains the wing tray. Winslow's got five. And the D really on its heels on that possession didn't know what to do. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Th those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. And you look at Morant, almost all the way up there in the top spot. I don't know if he'll make it to number one, but you have to say he's going to be a part of the contest for sure. It's looking that way, and, and the contest will be a lot better off having him in it. He always puts on a show. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know. There are some great players pulling in boats so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. Dozier, and the shot goes in. He's got five. Ooh, there he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. Here's Morant. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Uh, the delicate touch on display there. Gotta love when Morant lets that floater fly off his fingertips. Beautiful. Here's Dozier. He has five. Inside. Here's McGee. From six feet out, he nails it. McGee's got his first points of the night. Here's Morant. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball, and it's Monte Morris with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Allen surveying the D. Six to shoot. Feeds to Anderson. Just his first attempt. That shot off. And Denver the other way now. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. 
Now, here is Morris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Kept alive. And McGee kicks to Dozier. A three from Morris. The Grizzlies pull it in. Morant outside to the paint. Kicks it out to Allen. Millsap against Jackson. Here's Morant. McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority for McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. The Grizzlies trail by 20, and it's Monte Morris with the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet, but something to keep an eye on. Valanciunas is checked in for the Grizzlies. they call the foul so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play and the seven-footer Valanchunas with the foul a big who isn't just skilled but also brings that toughness Aaron Gordon he's checking in for Austin Rivers Boy, Valanchunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA, and the G League pathway along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Morant with it, now defended by Jokic. You got to close off those avenues to Morant. Once he gets in one, he is focused on dropping the hammer. Now, here's Jokic. He's coming off a 25-point game against New Orleans. Here's Murray. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. <laughs> and if you're drawing up your starting five for team irrational confidence, Jamal Murray makes a strong case. This guy is fearless. Gordon against Allen. Just five to shoot. Gordon with the defensive effort. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And Murray, we know, can be streaky, Greg. Still mid-30% for his career from three-point range. Of course, the degree of difficulty, pretty high on a lot of his shots. Off the bounce with the hand in his face. And he's more than a shooter, a versatile scorer who can get it done in a variety of ways. And Jokic throws it down. Quick reaction that time by Jokic. Very impressive. Good at rolling to the right spot after setting the screen and doing it quickly. The Grizzlies have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Morant against Murray. Morant drives in. It's good. Morant's got eight points in the quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Morant against Murray. The pass to Jokic. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul. Porter's checked in for Paul Millsap. Memphis also making some changes. Brandon Clark comes in for Anderson. And Jones subbed in for Allen. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Morant outside. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. And then Gordon with the dunk. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Inside, 
Clark dishes to Jones. Back to Clark. And it's Clark slamming it down. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Ammonia strong, we call that. Wear that rim out. Now, here's Jokic. He's got 14. Back to Murray. Over Valanciunas. Murray, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Clark outside. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Clark's got four points this quarter. This is the mindset Clark has. He's opportunistic and really has an awareness of when to attack in transition. Now here's Gordon. Eight points for him. And that one drops for him. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Memphis with the ball. Morant, the bounce pass. Clark finds Morant and finished off by Morant. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Here's Barton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Gordon. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Clark. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, the effort level they've had has been outstanding. Hard to keep a team down when they play with that much energy. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, Shoot their two. transition game has been full throttle. And the first one drops. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire. But that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. Got to stay active when Gordon's out there. I mean, his ability to make something out of nothing is huge for this team. Jones, the pass to Brooks. In the corner, it's Valanciunas. Denver grabs the miss. Gordon's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Better outside. Some solid defense from Clark. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Jones looking for an opening. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. It makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. Martin passes to Gordon. Jokic with it, guarded by Valanciunas. Kicks it out to Gordon. Lets it fly from 18. They get it back. Here's Jokic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Jokic has great size and mobility. He's very good at forcing the defense's hand and drawing the foul. The Nuggets have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you know, the potential the Joker has is exciting. Jokic, a big man who can score, pass, and rebound, and do all of those well. And Jokic drops them both. 
and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free, and they've done exactly that, made them pay. Here's Melton. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Nuggets. The Nuggets leading by 17. Pass to Jokic. One fifty-three left in the first half. Here's McGee. And again, Denver no good. The Grizzlies shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Clark kicks to Jones. Alan June is with the ball. 17 points for him last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Five on the clock. Denver's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Pass to Barton. Back to Gordon. And it's Memphis on the break. And that one's good by Clark. Clark's got seven just reliable guys he's just always trying to make the right play 59 seconds left in the second quarter Gordon finds Murray Denver passing it around it's stolen by Valanciunas here's Melton defended by Gordon Clark trying to get open Melton's shot is good. Melton's got five points in the quarter. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. 13-point lead. They owes the Kings after this game. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Brooks outside. Down low, lock at six. McGee with the block. Here's Barton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Jokic passes to Murray. Got it up. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. Their lead at 15 going into the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Aaron, you all have played at a high level so far. What has worked for you? We're just sticking to the game plan. You know, uh, our coaches really drew up something good for us. You know, they wrote it out, and we're sticking to it, and we're executing very well. Yeah, that's obvious the way you all have played. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Some incredible work in this one by Nikola Jokic. He had 18 points, three assists. Well, what can you say about superstar big man Nikola Jokic? Jamal Murray said, there's really nothing he can't do other than jump. <laughs> ah, how about that, Jamal Murray? That's, right. That's a good one, but guess what? There's a lot of people that couldn't jump those three players. But nowadays, it's all about skills. Dribbling, shooting, definitely passing. The Joker does it all. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Joker? He loves to do it. But his playmaking stands out. That to me is what it is. You know, guys have been able to score in this league for playmaking. But what's that? What's that? Laugh again? <laughs> Man, that's a no-brainer. 
And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. So on the four for Memphis. Jackson and Balanchunas, they're in the middle. Morant and Brooks, Manning the backcourt. And it's Clark in at the three. Now here's Murray. Following the miss by John Morant. Outside Porter, beyond the arc. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Get there, get there. I got ball. Now Brooks still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. One shot. And here's Rivers. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Jackson against Rivers. Jackson down low. And it's Morant at the elbow. And it's a defensive three-second violation. For Memphis, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Well, I tell you what, you can't even compare their numbers at the free throw line last season to the numbers this year. I mean, they are so much better. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Brooks with no one around. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Now here's Murray. Porter in the corner. Misses the three. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Clark with it. Now guarded by Porter. Clark kicks to Brooks. From deep three-point range. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Denver Nuggets. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Jokic. And he uses the glass on the layup. Jokic has got 20. 
This is a big guy, a mountain of a man. I mean, Jokic is a sturdy, thick 250 pounds. Um, it's going to take a bigger bump to disrupt this shot than that one. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Now, here's Jokic. 20 points for him. Outside Gordon. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Brooks with it. Clark outside. Here's Brooks. He's got five to the middle. Six on the shot clock. Valanciunas, good. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Four-point game. The pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got four assists now tonight. And the confidence oozing from Murray. Just so efficient from the interior. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Well, I tell you what, we've all heard the stories of Jamal Murray's training routine growing up in Canada. Like something out of a movie. Push-ups in the snow. Dribbling on ice, deep knee bends with a cup of hot tea on his thigh. A little bit unconventional, but hey, it certainly got him to where he is now, so I would say it worked. Now here's Murray. He has six. Outside Gordon. Over Clark. But he gets it back. Gordon, the pass to Rivers. Out of hand on it. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. Shot clock at five. Pass to Rivers. Shoots and too long on the shot. And Clark, it was Jamal Murray's father who, who's the mastermind behind those unconventional training methods. His son, though, never begged off, never wavered in his commitment. Tell you what, Greg, it clearly would lead you to believe that both of them were crazy, and yet they had a shared obsession and a commitment, and it's paid off. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Denver. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've take continued to succeed break. as the Do game some. has worn on. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. The first one falls. Justice Winslow, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And both free throws good for Brooks. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency, as you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Now, here is Morris. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jokic draws the double. He feeds it to Millsap. The shot missing. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And here we go with Brooks running it up the court. There's Winslow. Keeps it alive, and the second chance effort by Jackson. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Now, here's Millsap. He's got seven. On the wing, Morris. Back to Millsap. No good with the layup. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Brooks has got nine points now in the quarter. 
And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. Now, Jokic, 20 points for him. Back to Morris from deep. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got four rebounds in this game. Jackson has the open look. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got the lead up to two now for the Grizzlies. Denver's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Passes it to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. To stop the run, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And check it out, the stats here for Brooks. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's averaging 14 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. No good on the free throw. And the Nuggets making a change here. McGee's checked in. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for the Grizzlies. He hits the second from the line. Memphis leading. And here's Winslow. He's got five. Floats it up there for Morant. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Here's Dozier, covered by Winslow. Here's Morris, and the rejection by Jackson. McGee's shot is off, and the Grizzlies leading by three. Pass to Melton. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Melton's got nine points. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Memphis. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. And they've been turning those turnovers into points. It's his first trip to the line. He misses the free throw. Martin's checked in for the Nuggets. The Grizzlies also making a change. Jones is checked in. And he's good on the second. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Now here's Winslow. Five points in the game. To the inside, Anderson. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Anderson's got his first bucket in this one. Boy, you look at the defense, not nearly the hustle or energy at that end of the floor. It's the exact opposite of what it was in the first half. Now here is Morris. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Barton finds Morris. Six to shoot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He had a defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. 
These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And I'll tell you guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. And free throw good for Morris. Drops them both. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They lead by four. McGee with the block. And they're able to recover. But they'll get another chance. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. you got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Memphis has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. On the wing, Winslow. Here's Melton. He's guarded by Rivers. Winslow kicks to Jackson. Shot clock at six. Tires from the corner. Here's Anderson. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Millsap. And now here's Rivers, the fast break opportunity. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And it's tied up with that one. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Jones with it. He averages a bit over six points a game. Melton passes to Jackson. To the paint. Here's Jones. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Here's Anderson, down to five on the shot clock. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion, you'll have periods like this. Rivers finds Barton. To the left side wing. McGee against Jackson. The Nuggets with another miss. Memphis trailing here. Left side, Jones. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. 
Rivers can't get it to go. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Let's the three fly. Melton, no good. Denver's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Now, here is Morris. He's covered closely. Kicks to Barton. Outside Millsap. Buries the long-range jumper. Millsap's got 11. And you know, you see the improvement. Millsap has established himself as a decent three-point shooter now. He has the range. The Grizzlies trail by four. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. different look for Denver. Aaron Gordon is checking in for Millsap. Porter comes in for Rivers. And it's Jamal Murray in for Monte Morris. Valanciunas is checked in for the Grizzlies. Clark comes in for Winslow. Clark dishes to Jones. Right side Jackson. The offensive rebound. Good on that shot, and with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Valanciunas. And with those points, he puts an end to that 10-0 run by the Nuggets. Now here's Murray. He has six. It counts, and the foul. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. And the strength of Murray. Finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Free throw good, Murray. Yeah, Murray is clearly a shoot-first guy who can really fill it up. This is a big-time bucket getter. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Offensive rebound. Jackson kicks to Clark. Second chance shot. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Nuggets leading by five. Here's Barton. Grizzly is with the rebound. Jackson's got six rebounds here tonight. Jones against Murray. Outside, Jones. Inside, Clark. Outside. And it's off from three-point range. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. The third quarter comes to a close. Denver on top. Ending the third quarter on a 14-4 run. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Gordon out there with JaVale McGee. Then it's Will Barton. Then it's Porter. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. 
Now, here's Porter. He kicks it to Gordon. Back to Porter. What's up a three? Rebounded by Jackson. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. McGee with the block. Alan Junis against Gordon. Here's Murray, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Yeah, you know, right there in that instance, you could see where Murray was able to take advantage of his size in that situation. throw good Murray Jokic he's checked in for JaVel McGee and the Grizzlies also with the sub Dylan Brooks he's checked in for DeAnthony Melton and so Murray nails both of them he's as solid as it gets from the line I mean give him the opportunity he's cashing in on those Jones against Murray, and it's good for two. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Barton. Murray outside. There's the three, and it's Barton that time on the assist by Murray. And the Nuggets lead by eight. It's obvious that Barton's jump shot has come a long way. Right now, he's pretty solid at catching and shooting. And it's Jones with the ball for the Grizzlies. The pass to Jackson. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Tipped away. And stolen by Murray. Jokic with it. Now Valanciunas defending. It's stolen by Jones. Porter against Clark. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And the call up against Jokic. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And, and that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression. From a defensive standpoint, he does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Morant, he's checked in for Jones. Here's Morant. Floats one, makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Yeah, when Morant gets it dialed up, he can be unstoppable. Just too many ways to score. Now here's Barton. Pass to Murray. From outside the arc, Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Murray with it. He's picked up by Morant. The Nuggets with another miss. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Cans it from downtown. Now just a three-point Denver lead. And we've seen Morant make strides in this area now you have to take that three-point shot seriously time called here the nuggets decide to talk it over every time out a chance to review the lineups matchups or call a play yeah and i agree i think there's gonna be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. all right let's catch up with our sideline reporter david aldridge hey guys will mike malone talk to his team during that last time out he said guys we don't want to play hero ball we don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. Here's Brooks. Rebound by the Nuggets. Now Jokic. 
It's stolen by Valanciunas. Morant with it. Now guarded by Porter. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to just one on the basket from Morant. And I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Outside Porter. Back to Murray. Passes to Porter. Denver passing it around. Poke loose. Here's Jokic. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Jaron Jackson. Jokic has a nice shot fake and did a good job that time getting the defenders up in the air and drawing the foul. And the first one at the line is good. And Jokic drops them both. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Fires at the elbow, and the Grizzlies get it back. Jackson gets the bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Murray. Out to the right wing. Jogic finds Barton. His three-pointer is off the mark. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Jokic passes to Barton. And, oh, here we go. Brooks got it. The fast break chance that gives them the lead. Moran's got 24 points. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back trying to carry them to the W. And here's Gordon. Barton outside. Puts one up from 19. Ja Morant grabs the rebound. And it's Memphis on the break. Morant with the ball. They get the rebound. Valanciunas, good. Now it's a four-point Grizzly lead. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Murray. Here's Porter. And they get it. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Nuggets making a change here. Rivers checked in. Morant against Murray. Now here's Morant. D right on him. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And Murray, here we go. The shot's good. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. Morant against Murray. Jackson from long range. And it's Rivers with the rebound. The Nuggets trail by four. Gordon with it. Guarded now by Jackson. And Jokic throws it down. I am very impressed with the poise Jokic has shown tonight. He's been unflappable no matter what they've thrown at him. The Grizzlies have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Here's Morant. And that one is good. Morant's got 18 points now here in the second half. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Murray. That one, no good. Morant with some nice D. And now the Grizzlies, fast break. Clark with a wide-open look. Porter with a block. 
And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. Murray against Morant. Pass to Rivers. Jokic kicks to Rivers. The Nuggets with a new 14. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Murray against Brooks. Valanciunas. Jackson trying to break free. No good from Valanciunas. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. Trailing by four. A nice shot by River. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. Memphis has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Brooks outside. Looking to end his cold spell. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Grizzlies lead by four. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Murray against Morant. Now here's Jackson. Clark outside. A floater, and that's two points on the layup. Clark's got the lead up to six now for the Grizzlies. You, you got to know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Now here's Murray. Back to Rivers. Over to the left wing. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Easy to understand why they turn to Jokic in these situations. He has a knack for cashing in on big possession. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Morant with it. Softly drops in the floater. Morant's got 30 points. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. A nice shot by Rivers. And the Grizzlies shooting very well right now, 52% in this fourth quarter. Morant dishes to Jackson. Memphis moving that ball around. Porter with the steal. Jokic trying to free himself up and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And at six foot ten, Porter is a threat to score inside, which is why the defense trying to rough him up a bit. Throw good. Porter. Paul Millsaps checked in for Denver. And Porter drops them both. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. Up top, Morant. He's covered by Murray. Every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. And that's why Millsap has all those zeros at the end of his pace, though, fellas. Comfortable stepping up, especially when his team needs a big one. At the top of the key, Brooks. Back to Clark. Holds it up there for Morant. Up high to stop the alley-oop. A, a 
true leader. You can tell Morant takes pride in stepping up when it matters most. Denver calls timeout. They trail by one. 144 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Jonas Valanciunas. He's kept a lot of their possessions alive with his work on the offensive glass. You can't measure what that kind of effort means to a team, not just in terms of the second chances those rebounds create, but also for the example it sets. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. second and that ties the game up yeah look he'd like to take the lead on that possession but he, at least he was able to tie the game up Morant outside puts it up from 15 and a little luck that time but it drops Valanciunas has got four points in the quarter and how about Valanciunas coming through here when it's a big possession Giving it to him is a great idea. Now here's Murray. He can't get that one. Nice deed from Valanciunas. Morant with it. Now guarded by Porter. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. No good. Shot missing. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for Denver. A two-point game. Morant with the steal. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Murray is surveying the D. Outside Gordon. The Nuggets moving the ball around. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the athleticism and size of Porter creates problems for the defense. Hard to guard without getting physical. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. He gets them to within one possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. one drops and that gives them a four-point cushion and so he drops them both it's a five-point game two possession game now guys some very important free throws there
the shot and game clock separated by four. For three, Murray. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Off the inbound pass. Jokic, no good. And that's an intentional foul. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. The, the combination of scoring and passing at that PG position makes Morant valuable. Uh, an all-around player with a bright future. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see them knock them down there. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth. They grab their own miss. Jokic, ice D from Porter. And so the Grizzlies take the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you, but they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, uh, there is a better game. There is a worse game. But, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game. I'm fighting. And uh, my job is take rebounds, set of screens. I'm doing that job. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.